That was a, a great win for us. I thought our first half was obviously the best half of basketball we've played all year in any of the exhibition games or the games that count. Really, really impressed with uh, our defense. We, we changed a little bit today and didn't hard hedge as much as we plugged. Uh, and that really helped us. I, th I thought that that, because we were so afraid of their two big guys being able to space for shots and slip screens that we, we uh, our, our guards did a great job of fighting over the top of screens and getting back in front of the ball on all their ball screens. I mean, they shot 25%. Our defense was fantastic. I thought we really, uh, you know, lost some gas, though, and it's just because of our short numbers. I mean, obviously not having Malcolm tonight, hurts us in terms of our uh, uh, just numbers, being able to sub more. I mean, we're, I mean, Reeves played 19 minutes the first half. That's too many minutes. I don't want to play him that many normally. But we got in foul trouble. Well, three of our bigs had two fouls. I think uh, uh, Brendan Lane, Stover, and Josh all had two fouls. And so uh, he had to go a lot more minutes than he normally would. I thought Honeycutt and... Uh, Nelson were brilliant tonight on the boards, 14 and 15 boards, both getting double doubles. I mean, that, that was outstanding. Uh, uh, you know, in the first half, we really, really pushed the ball well, how we wanted to push it. Second half, you could tell we got tired. The Reese was tired. thought he was playing a little bit tired. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, they had a tough matchup for Josh because their big, Willard, who's a very good player, could step out and take him outside. And uh, he's going to have to learn to be able to get out there. And there's going to be other matchups like that for him in the future. I thought Brendan Lane's defense, Tyler Lamb's defense, and uh, Lazert Jones' defense were instrumental. I mean, those guys are fantastic tonight defensively. Um, and uh, so this is, I think UOP is a really good team. To be able to beat them on no day preparation, day of the game preparation, when we didn't, you know, we, we walked through it today at the walkthrough. And, and our team's getting better at doing that stuff. And so, I'm, like I said before, I'm really excited about our young team, excited about the opportunity to uh, play against a, a great team like Villanova uh, with Tennessee and I think VCU on the other side of the bracket. It's going to be a real challenge, we know that. And, you know, Malcolm's update, uh, you know, it's better probably than it could have been. Uh, but he's still, you know, he's in a boot. You know, whether or not he'll be able to play by next Wednesday, I think that'll be uh, any, anybody's guess. Uh, I know that he and uh, Leif, uh, our trainer, will get very well acquainted over the next uh, five to six days here trying to get him ready and really uh, attacking that uh, ankle.